Welcome to Sindelfing. Today, I have arrived at Sindelfing and the Mercedes-Benz Design Center in my endeavor to find new and exciting things in the world of Mercedes-Benz. So what's going to happen today? Well, the new SLK is going to be unveiled today. As you can see right behind me, it's still covered by cloth, but in about 20 to 30 minutes, the strip is, is going to take place. And after that, we're going to be able to check out the full body works of this exciting new hottie. But also, I'm not the only person here today. Apparently, a lot of famous race drivers are going to be checking out this new hottie. So, um, check out the movie and we'll see what happens here. Damit haben wir Grüße mit mir, Michael Schumacher, Nico Rosberg and David Kutcher. Herzlich willkommen hier am Geburtsort des SLK im Mercedes-Benz Design. Dem Ort, an dem 1958 der Designbereich gegründet wurde. Damals noch unter dem Namen Stilistik. Zu dieser Zeit war Design eher ein Randthema. Heute ist Design kaufentscheidend. Well, the SLK seems to be not the only one who is a star today, as you can see right behind me. Um, but we're going to take a closer look at the real star of the evening and have a closer look at all the details. I'm sitting in the new SLK. My first impression is the quality is just so much higher than, its, than that of its predecessor. Um, the mixture inside is a little bit of CLS, a little bit of uh, SLS. It's it's very, very nice, actually. Have a look at all the details. Uh, first of all, this middle panel here reminds me very much of the SLS. The steering wheel, I know from the CLS 63. And also, the details here, the metal buttons, all those things make this so much higher grade than its predecessor. So, kudos to Mercedes. Really, really, really well done. An innovation that Mercedes-Benz has introduced into the SLK, and only in the four-cylinder versions, is a sound generator. It's a pipe that transfers the low-frequency sounds from the front into the cockpit, which gives the car even more of a powerful noise. I think that's a good idea. One of the highlights of this new SLK is this magic roof. At the touch of a button, you can make it transparent or completely dim it, which takes out, as I understand, about 80% of ultraviolet and infrared light and keeps the heat away. So, magic at the touch of a button. On, magic off. I like that. Having an SLK means you want to drive it with the top off. And, as usually, the highlight is taking the roof off. And that's the greatest thing about this car. And it's also very, very quick. And here we go, you can enjoy the sun. Usually a problem with convertibles is when the roof is down, you hardly have any space. But Mercedes has some ingenious ways, and even if the roof is up, you still can find quite a lot of extra space. Let me show you something. You open up the trunk, you already have this thing. Once the roof is closed, you just fold it away. Also, on the bottom, you can lift up this little piece and just turn it around. You can put something on the bottom. You can also use this to stow things away. I think that's pretty clever. It's a two-seater, so don't expect uh, you and your whole family traveling. But nice weekend? Yeah, I think it's good enough. The new SLK will come with a huge variety of different engines. But for the first time, Mercedes is going to put a diesel engine in the SLK, which I think is a great addition because I've driven the E350 CDI in the E-Class convertible and that car, mwah, very, very nice. So I think that's a good idea. Let's see how it works out. Although it says SLK 250 on this one, this one is an edition one, which has a lot of elements from the AMG version, like the grill here. And we'll show you another one just to compare, but here it's very different. This is the more muscular AMG front. And this is the front of the standard version, which is pretty nice too. 
And obviously, as soon as special editions and AMG versions are involved, the back also looks a little bit more muscular, hinting a little bit of a diffuser back here. With all the new models, of course, Mercedes also brings out new wheels. And these brand new AMG wheels, I think, suit this car very well. As a part of the new design line, it's also to put the mirror right on the door and not up here anymore. And I think that's a quite a nifty feature. I've seen it in the CLS, and I liked it in the CLS. So, SLK, kudos. So that was the world premiere of the new SLK. All in all, this car is really, really a nice specimen because it's a mixture of SL, it has elements of the CLS, and of course, one of my favorites, the SLS AMG. I can't wait to see this car, first of all, in an AMG version, and second of all, sitting behind the wheel and trying to see if the beautiful exterior and interior will match its driving skills. So, follow on, and we'll see what happens.